Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. You can probably already tell from how I'm looking that it's a change. But however, let's just get straight in. So today, another product review. So this is a product which I have come across on my local supermarket, which happens to be a superstore of Tesco's. Now, they have a huge range of all different shampoos, conditioners, hair products. And very often, if I'm sort of passing by, I will just have a look in that aisle, see if there's anything new, see if there's anything which can create my hair um, that much more fuller, that much more thicker. And it's not because I'm losing hair, it's just because you can probably tell already I have a fine texture of hair and it always sits quite fluffy and I need something to sort of really build that up. So today this is a product which I, I'm wanting to review. I have heard lots about it. It's been out on the, um, I would say it's been out for possibly a couple of years now, but I've just never really thought about choosing it. It's a product which, first of all, very often I think that it's, uh, it, it's marketed to women and their hair, but what I have been sort of coming through lately is that sometimes those products are sometimes even better or equally as good just for men's hair as well. Um, I always find that with men's products it's lots of colognes, lots of really strong sort of smells, which of course is great, but then when they're promising for thicker, fuller hair, it doesn't necessarily deliver. However, have had some amazing experiences. Others sometimes can be a little bit more sort of um, either make the hair feel really overly perfumed or quite cakey with almost like a product in your hair. Now this one, I would say I'm sort of on the benchmark about it. I'm not 100% sort of taken over by it and I'm not sort of saying that I wouldn't never use it again. I'll go straight into who we're talking about. So this is the L'Oreal LV and this one is Fibrology Thicker Thickening Shampoo and Thickening Conditioner. So why have I left my hair like this? So I'm just going to brush my hair through. So the reason why I have not touched my hair this morning, other than shampooing and conditioning with the L'Oreal Alviv Fibrology Thickening Shampoo and the conditioner, is because I recently had some feedback on my channel where I had done a really good video, but yet they hadn't actually seen my hair at all in the process. So what I'm doing this morning is I'm just going to get I'm just getting ready to go out this morning. Um, but however. Later on, I am actually having a haircut, but however, I just wanted to review this product because as you can see, and you can probably see why I look for a, a, a thickening sort of product range now, because yes, I've got a lot of hair, but it's fine. And as you can see, it's, I've only just got to touch this and yeah, I've got quite a lot of hair. I'm just going to turn the hair around, but as you can see, it's a lot of it, but it's fine. And it, and it takes a lot to sort of keep it in its style. So there's a lot of hair going on at the moment. It's grown, to be honest, it seems to have just crept up on me how, how quickly it's grown. But I've used this product range. Let's go back into the products. As you can see, I've explained why I haven't got any product in my hair today, because I wanted you to actually see it's early in the morning. I'm just getting ready and I've just shampooed, conditioned my hair and I've dried my hair off and all I've done is I've used this small Damon radio, uh, radio brush and I've just brushed it backwards with the dryer just to get that nice sleekness and then what I usually do is I go in with like a wax or a nice pomade or if I am um, a small amount of gel, some sort of hair product straight in and what the look I'm going to be going for today is just off to the side and then some taken off with some volume in the front here but as you can see, hopefully you can sort of tell my hair, I'm not losing any hair as you can see my hairline now is full it's just it's very soft very fine and falls very flat quite quickly so when i was passing this one in a supermarket aisle i thought to myself let's give it a try i was looking around for which products i haven't tried and i came across this one i've seen this one advertised when it first came out i'd say maybe one or two years ago i haven't i was the last um, advertisement i seen for this product but it still sits very, very heavily, and every time I go into this uh, supermarket, or even in, this, in my local high street, or wherever I go for hair products, these seem to sell incredibly well. They're usually gone off the shelves in Boston, they have offers on there. Of course, L'Oreal Aviv is a very big brand, but I've always thought, one point I'm going to try this, Fibrology. Now, like I said, I'm sort of not won over by this product, but overall I think it is a good product. But whether or not it's tailored if you've got, I'm just going to brush my hair because I'm not happy with doing this clip with sort of looking like, looking like that. <laughs> there we go. But I think personally it's probably tailored for if you've got longer hair. So 
again of course the, the female market so if you've got a woman with long hair and it's quite fine I think this would really give you the texture if you're losing your hair I really don't think this is a product which you would necessarily get much benefit from as it just sort of puffs the hair up and makes it quite fluffy. As you can see, I've used this this morning. It just makes my hair set up really, really fluffy. So I'm just going to go into more detail about it now. So L'Oreal Paris LV Fibrology Thickening Shampoo. So Philoxazine. Thicker looking hair. Fine thin hair. This is for. And on the back, having fine hair is not a result of having fewer hairs, but instead each strand is significantly thinner in diameter than normal hair. It therefore seems there is less of it. It lacks grip, becomes flat, and is difficult to do anything with. What if science could give you thicker hair than nature did? Now, straight away, I think that is so misleading, and that's what makes me unhappy about some of these products and how they're allowed to do this in the market. Because if you're kind of really vulnerable, you're going for a point of your life where you're losing a lot of your hair, your hair is everything to you, to you. and of course, it's our individuality, it's our character, whether you're a woman or a man. I think it's really, really sad to put that mark on here and that this particular shampoo is just going to put that all right for you. That's why straight away I don't really like the product. Going into it, the secret to thicker hair. Our thickening shampoo proven to penetrate and expand the hair fibre from within. The formula enriched with phylloxacine instantly ensures hair looks thicker and visibly and with visible body and bounce. Over time ensures hair gets thicker wash after wash. Now to me that's really, really cringeworthy because it doesn't. I've used it for a week now and as you can see my hair still sits. I've got quite a lot of it but it's fine hair and fortunately I'm not losing hair but it certainly hasn't made my hair any thicker. It gives my hair some more texture so I suppose that will make it stand up more but it certainly doesn't make my hair thicker and what I would say it's a, it's a great shampoo but there is must be quite a lot of sulfates in this. The first ingredients which I've got on here is sodium lithium sulfate. Now sometimes if you're losing hair, if you've got fine hair, that's the last thing you want to keep applying on your hair, particularly if you wash your hair in the morning, in the evening, if you're using a lot of product, because sulfates can sometimes agitate the scalp, they can make the hair feel more finer, they can actually make the scalp a little bit more tender, a little bit more sore. So these products, I think if you've got no hair or scalp problems at all, but you've got finer textured hair and you're just wanting to build on what you've got, then a good product to start. If you're losing your hair and you're really concerned with what's happening, I would say this is a big no. Moving on to the conditioner. So this one here, of course, very much the same. It's from the same range. Fibrology thickening uh, conditioner for fine, thin hair. It's got exactly the same message here. Having fine hair is not the result of having few hairs, which we've seen on the shampoo. And it tells us that it's based on a formula enriched with phylloxacine. And it tells us a fine thin hair tip so I think this is pretty basic and it's actually quite I think when you're building such a claim that hair gets thicker and thicker and the first thing your tip is on here dry hair upside down for thicker looking hair completing your hair thickening regime with fibrology double elixir and an instant thickening mist I don't want to be putting all different products in my hair if I've got really really fine hair that would be from the perspective if you've got really little hair of course, I imagine you would get thicker hair if you use the Fibrology Double Elixir and the Instant Thickening Mist. I haven't personally tried them. I see no reason why I would need to try them. Of course, I may do in the future if I come across them. I haven't actually seen those in a supermarket, though, at all before. I have seen them online when I've done a little bit of research for this product today, but I haven't seen them in supermarkets. Um, I'm, and I'm not just sort of saying that I see no reason for me to use them. I do because as you can see my hair sits quite fine and quite flat and quite fluffy so I certainly would use it but I think from my experience on the shampoo and the conditioner if they're making claims which are really really huge I wouldn't really want to try them. I think there's much much better products out there for creating thicker hair and are actually looking after your scalp to help healthy hair growth and to help vigorous healthy thicker hair growth. Not these claims like in these shampoos with phylloxacine which gets inside the hair follicle and um, not the follicle sorry the actual hair shaft and making the hair shaft thicker and glyphs it from the scalp those bonds I believe from the phylloxacine in the shampoo and the conditioner over time accumulate so you've got that accumulative effect so it doesn't make the hair thicker you've just got this product which is binding to the hair and plumping the hair out and lifting up from the scalp and you get more and more and more of that around the hair shaft itself so that, of course, would lift the hair. But for me, I've used this for a week now and it's starting to feel just a little bit cakey in my hair as though I really need a good clarifying shampoo to really get all this product out. It feels like I've got some sort of pre sort of 
product in here um, which is okay it's not really my favorite type of feeling in my hair at all I just keep brushing my hair because I find if I don't it makes my hair look really quite drab and quite flat um, so yeah on the whole let's just go back into what fibrology is so fibrology is a product which the Fibrology Thickening Shampoo and Conditioner range uses. It uses Phylloxacine, and that is a product which I'll just refer to on the back here so I get it absolutely correct. So it's proven to penetrate and expand the hair fibre from within. So the, the hair shaft in the cuticle, so it gets inside, plumps the follicle out. Almost, I've seen it when it was on their television advert, that they used a sponge, I believe. And they used a sponge as though that it, it inflated with water and it got bigger. I believe that that's the sort of the image they wanted to try and convey through these products that it's swelled so the hair follicle actually swelled so in turn it would be that you had a lot more hair on your head to style with really nice product however it wouldn't be a product which i would use again i say really nice product because of i like the sort of the sort of lift it slightly gives you in your hair doesn't make your hair thicker no it doesn't it gives lift it gives texture it gives body doesn't make your hair thicker at all you've only got to touch it and you can feel it's fine um, so on that basis, it's a nice product, but I think it's more suited for women with longer hair because then, of course, if you're curling your hair, if you're blow drying your hair, it will give more texture, more body, so it will sit out more fuller. Scalp? No, I actually am sort of feeling a little bit sort of sensitive on my scalp at the moment because of using this shampoo and conditioner, so it certainly wouldn't be something I would use going forward. Um, nice product. But that's all it is for me, I'm afraid. It's not It's not very often I actually do a slightly negative review on hair products. But this one, not one over by. Certainly wouldn't probably use it again after this week. But a nice product. But I think for, for women's hair, I think because you've got that longer length of hair, so you'd get that nice fullness, that sort of nice roundness, and that boost of texture and volume. For men's hair, that's why it's probably aimed more at women's hair. The men's hair gave me a little bit of lift, gave me a little bit of texture. Didn't like how it made my scalp feel. Um, but overall, a pretty good standard and a, a quite a nice product to use. But I wouldn't really go any further than that. So, as I did just explain, the reason why I have left my hair today is because I got some feedback. And it was noted that... I am doing a, I'm very often doing a hair clip, but I'm not showing my hair before. So this is sort of the rawness. There's no product in here at all. I've just dried my hair back. You can see for a thickening shampoo conditioner. And yes, you can probably see I'm getting that lift up through the front here, which is great. But as I did say, I've used the product for a week now. So it is starting to lift and my hair does tend to go quite fluffy. So I wouldn't necessarily know which was the product the actual Fibrology shampoo conditioner, or if this was just my sort of natural hair. At the moment, I can feel sort of like like some sort of product in here, so I imagine that must be the Fibrology sort of uh, phylloxacine sort of notion in the shampoo conditioner. So, going forward, would I use this again? Probably not, but however, you never know. You never know. Okay, so, I hope you've really and very much enjoyed my clip today. I certainly have. I haven't enjoyed sitting here with hair sort of not looking great like as I normally would. But now I'm going to be going off to get ready. I am going to be doing a clip again later on. That's going to be doing about something different. But what I would just like to shout out today on my YouTube channel as a huge sort of milestone and just to have this record. It's my mum's birthday today. I think the world of her. I've absolutely showered her in gifts. I've decorated downstairs so it looks absolutely beautiful for her. I bought her amazing cake and she means the world to me. I absolutely think she's an absolutely incredible person. I love her with all my heart. So happy birthday to my mum. Thanks very much for watching and until next time we will see you then. Bye bye now. Hello and welcome back. So you may notice I look slightly different. So I have now got ready and I have now been and got my haircut. Okay, so what did I have done? So very, very quickly, so I had 0.5, very, very short up through here, sort of where you'd have the sideburns, so 0.5, really down to the skin almost, then 0.5, then we've gone up, I believe we've gradually gone higher and higher and higher, and I've got that nice defined line, I think this is up to about a 1 up here, and then of course this jumps up, and I would probably say whether or not that's sort of like a 2 or even possibly a little bit higher than that. So I'd normally say as a rule, 0, 0 0.5, 1, of course, tapering up, fading through each of the levels and then leaving a nice defined line. And that's the same on each side. That arrows down towards the back 
and then when that's done you've got a nice arid sort of shape which I've got now which I always ask when I have my hair cut. On the top I've had about an inch cut off so it's now literally just about halfway on the bridge of my nose. I haven't had it cut into or anything I've just got a nice sort of nice fullness nice thickness going on here. So just linking back to our clip which we had so I use the Fibrology uh, thickening shampoo and the Fibrology thickening conditioner. Did that help me create this style? Yes, no. I think to be honest if you're going for a bit more height on the top keeping your hair cut a little bit more shorter rather than it being way down and past my nose if I want that bit more height on top I try to keep it to the bridge of my nose middle of my nose here. Um, yes it creates body and texture but not really as a man I'm looking for something in my hair to be honest with you I just want to be able to use product and lift my hair and go. I use products to try and keep my hair as thick and full as possible not for sort of body and fullness um, as in for a style. I like that fullness but I mean when I say fullness I mean the, the, the density of follicles on my head not that fullness in a style which to be honest sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but for me when I'm looking at a product I'm looking for that helping to help my hair grow nice thick and full. So how did I style it? Just running through very, very quickly. So of course you've seen my clip from this morning when I was getting ready. I used the shampoo and conditioner from the Fibrology L'Oreal LV range. And then after that, I dried my hair with the Damon radial brush and that was just straight back. And then when I had my hair cut this morning, um, I was actually asked this time because I was having the top not top trimmed, not to have too much of a cut done. So what I done then is I just literally parted my hair off, rubbed my fingers through it and a little bit of spray just so it looked not so untouched like which I really really hate. Then when I got there I had my hair cut. As I said we've worked through the levels of what I've had cut here and then I defined line. And on the top here I've had about an inch cut off so I've got that nice freshness back towards the ends. And then I've come home, I've washed my hair again and this time, and that's just because I was hair all over, I always am when I have all of my hair cut. Um, so again, just to prove that I have used this in this uh, in this clip, in this style, I've used the Fibrology L'Oreal LV shampoo and conditioner, which you would have seen from the earlier clip part of this one. Um, washed my hair through that with again, and I think I'm fair to say that's probably going to be the last time I use that, because I think it's fair to say on an evaluation that it's more aimed at giving that sort of fuller style, sort of like however movement I suppose you could say in sort of woman's hair. For men it doesn't really work. For me it hasn't really really worked. It hasn't kind of lived up to expectation. A really really good product I'm sure it's got some amazing reviews out there but for me I'm looking for a shampoo and conditioner which helps hair grow thicker not to sort of plump up the hair what you've got because for me I, you could use sort of styling sort of hairspray, you could use waxes, powders, that type of thing to make your hair lift not that sort of puffiness from a shampoo and conditioner but there we go some people's different everybody's different of course uh, on the basis of that I'm really really pleased with the haircut I've had and really really like it nice and smart um, hope you do too so I just thought I would do like an after shot you of course see my hair how it was this morning really really fluffy and sort of quite puffy with the shampoo and the conditioner from L'Oreal Vive uh, Fibrology um, and really really like it and I've had the the haircut rather product mediocre but the haircut I really really like and I hope you really enjoyed my clip and thank you very very much for watching so until next time this here is my after shot I've just had my hair cut and this was our review for the Fibrology range try it see what you think of course everybody's hair is different see what you think but I think to be honest on my evaluation looking back on it it's more for sort of for ladies hair um, and if you're if you've got that sort of long length of hair do excuse a helicopter which is just flying up above um, <laughs> where I live in in this part of the world um, we get that quite often so once again thank you very much for watching and until next time we will see you then thanks bye bye now